you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Ruckus Smart Zone controller based on a high scale deployment of the version 5.2 release. The videos in this series will show you the basic configuration of many aspects of the controller. In this video, I'll provide an example of how to configure a URL filtering policy and apply it to a wireless LAN. So let's get started. First, we'll log into a high scale instance of the Virtual Smart Zone controller. Once logged in, you can see that this instance is running version 5.2.0.0.699, or simply referred to as 5.2. Device policies are configured under Firewall, which when clicked, drops down a few submenus, and the one we want is Device Policy. Any configured device policies will be displayed here, and as with most policies, device policies can be applied at the system level or at a partner domain level. New device policies are defined by clicking on the Create button. The first thing you need to enter here is a name, as well as an optional description. In this example, I'll create a policy to be applied to a student wireless LAN, so I'll call it Student Device Policy. The Default Access option here defines the default behavior you want the rule to apply. Essentially, if you want to specify which devices you want to allow, you will select a block to block all devices that do not match those you specify. If you want to block specific devices and allow everything else, you want to select the Allow option. Since I want to only allow certain types of devices, I will set the default access method to Block. Now we click Create to define a new policy rule. In the dialog that pops up, we can define the parameters of what we want to filter on. Descriptions are required and can be useful to identify the intent of the individual rule. For this rule, I'm going to allow the Chromebook laptops that are used by students in their classrooms, so I'll give a description of Allow Chromebooks. I'll set the action to Allow because I want to explicitly allow these devices and block all others. This will typically be the opposite of what you selected for default access when defining the policy on the previous screen. Since we chose Block previously, this rule will allow devices. In the Device Type field, there are several options to choose from. The choice determines what options appear in the next drop-down, which is OS Vendor. In this example, I'm going to select Laptop. In the OS Vendor field, I'm going to select the Chrome OS, the default operating system that runs on the Chromebook laptops. I also have the option to apply rate limits to the identified devices. Let's set an uplink limit of 2 megabits per second and a downlink limit of 4 megabits per second. I also have the option of assigning the device to a specific VLAN. Of course, if you do this, the VLAN must be configured on the AP Ethernet ports and on the upstream switch port that your APs connect to. Then click OK to save the rule. This brings you back to the Policy Configuration window. To show that I can add multiple rules, I'm going to quickly add one more rule to allow the Kindle devices students use for reading. I'll give a description, select Allow, I select the device type of Tablet, I set the OS vendor to Amazon Kindle, then rate limit them to 1 megabit per second upstream and 2 megabits per second downstream. Lastly, since these devices operate on VLAN 100, I'll set that here. Again, I click OK to save it and return to the Policy Configuration window. Back in the Policy window, I'll see the list of rules within the policy. I have the ability to delete any of my rules by selecting the rule and clicking the Delete button. I'm not going to do that here, I just want to make you aware that you can remove individual rules from the overall policy. You click OK to save your policy. Next, we'll apply the policy to a wireless LAN. We'll head over to Wireless LANs, and I'll select the Student WLAN I already have configured. Click the Configure button to open the Wireless LAN configuration window and scroll down to the Firewall Options section. By default, WLANs have a system default firewall profile applied, which does not filter any traffic. In order to apply a single policy to a wireless LAN, you must toggle the Enable Wireless LAN Specific switch to On. As you can see, this WLAN already has this toggle set to On, and it already has a URL filtering policy applied. So all we have to do to apply our new policy is to select it from the Device Policy dropdown. Of course, we could click on the plus button to define a new policy, which is the same process we just went through. But for us to apply our new policy, we only have to select it from the Device Policy dropdown. Once enabled, we can click OK to apply the policy to the wireless LAN. If you select the wireless LAN and scroll down to the Firewall Options section, you'll see that the policy is now applied. 
This concludes the demonstration on configuring a URL filtering policy on a high-scale smart zone controller running release 5.2. Thanks for taking the time to view this demonstration. Thank you.